Thanks for checking out another one of my favorites videos. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you and welcome. Today I want to share with you something a little bit different from my normal favorites videos. I am getting ready to leave for at least four weeks to work on a movie. As some of you may know, I do work in the entertainment industry. I work behind the scenes, um, behind the camera, and most of my jobs are in uh, pretty large budget feature movies. Um, this particular movie I am going to Atlanta to work on and directly after this movie I actually will be going right into another movie in Atlanta as well. So when it comes to packing for jobs I do pack a little bit differently than if I were packing for a vacation. So I want to show you guys some of my favorite things that I bring with me when I travel for work. Okay the first thing that I want to talk about is how that I like to travel comfortably on the plane. And also I do find that these items are very useful when it comes to hotel stays as well, especially when you're staying in a hotel like me, I'll be staying there for at least a month. Um, some of my jobs, I'm in a hotel up to six months. So I try to make it as comfortable as possible. But for the actual flight itself, I always pack, and I actually have two of these, I always pack a Tempur-Pedic um, eye mask. This one I particularly love because it's memory foam and it has this really thick um almost like a barrier right here and that is so great because where it sits on your eyes it actually sits right down here so I love it because not only does it block out all of the light which is essential when I'm doing night shoots and I end up having to sleep during the day here at home I do have blackout curtains on all my windows pretty much so when I am working nights I I don't get as confused but in hotel rooms they usually have some sort of blackout curtains but they're never as dark as what I can make it at home so this is super essential for me when I'm doing night shoots and also I have found that if I ever start to get a little bit of a sinus headache or a cold sometimes when we are shooting we end up doing stuff with a lot of dust and fire and my sinuses get really clogged up so if I make this really really tight it can kind of put a little bit of pressure here on my sinuses so I absolutely, absolutely have to travel with that. Also along that line is this Tempur-Pedic um, back pillow. I believe it's a back pillow. I use it on the airplanes. I put it behind my back. I also can use it kind of to prop up if I have a window seat. I prop it up and then I'm able to kind of lean up against the window without physically having to like be pushed up against the window if that makes any sense. So this Tempur-Pedic pillow is great for um, flight travel but also I love it because when I'm in a hotel it's great to prop up behind my neck if I'm trying to watch TV and bed or also I do put it sometimes between my legs um, and sometimes hotel pillows aren't always that great so I do always take this I also do travel with two of my very own pillows which I think I have traveled with for as long as I've been traveling they're two really old disgusting feather pillows but I absolutely love them I always travel with those as well and my third thing that I always take on a plane with me is some sort of infinity scarf this one happens to be from lululemon I also have a couple from American Apparel that I like to travel with. Um, this one I find to be a little bit more useful because it isn't as big as my American Apparel ones. And it also unsnaps here to make it into a blanket. So when I'm on a plane, if I'm gone for a really long time, the flight's super long and I wanna sleep, I can kind of put it up around my head and kind of have it like that. I also can open up and make it a full blanket. And I also like it if I am sleeping or leaning up against a window, I can kind of block my face so that I don't have all the germs and everything and then usually the first thing that I do um my first load of laundry this is in it so the lululemon one I wasn't really that thrilled about investing that much in this but I have to say it's washed really really well and it's super soft and comfortable and then when I do work on night shoots I also can bring it as a scarf on set with me also talking about hotel comfort, there are pretty much three essential things that I like to bring regardless of where I'm staying um, when I'm there for more than a week. One thing is Bath and Body Works uh, room spray. I have been in so many hotels and you know if you're there for vacation you're usually in and out. It doesn't really become your home but when you're there for work and you're on a job for anywhere from a month to six months the hotel room really does become your room. So I definitely bring 
wearing some kind of air sanitizer or um, deodorizer. This one is a uh, fresh linen by Bath and Body Works. I think that these work so, so great. So I like to do that, especially when it's a small room, you know, can get a little stale smelling. And with that being said, I also always pack one Bath and Body Works candle. They are pretty heavy. So sometimes I will get them if I know I have some days off right away, I will wait and buy them once I get to my destination. But for this particular job, I'm jumping right in. I fly in on Monday and start right away. So I always bring a Bath and Body Works candle. These are super, super fragrant. This one is an apple one, which reminds me of fall. I try to kind of vary them. If it's summer, I do a summer scent and they last about 24. It says 24 to 45 hours. I have found these to be super fragrant. I come home from my job and I'll light them for, you know, a good hour before I go to bed. And it just makes my hotel room feel a little bit more homey. So this is definitely something else that I always travel with when I'm traveling for work. And the next two little things that I always take with me to make my hotel rooms a little bit more homey are two picture frames. These ones are just little ones. I think I got them at Michael's. One has a really old picture actually of my boyfriend and I, and the other one is a picture of my mom. If you guys ever look closely in my videos here, the picture of my mom usually sits at my desk. Um, and the, uh, little tiny picture of me, and my boyfriend usually sits somewhere else. And then I do usually take at least one or two just paper, uh, printout photos of my entire family and also one of my dog. But those ones, for some reason, I never have them in um, picture frames, but those are also extremely important for me. The next thing that I've been pretty good at doing is when I leave, I always try to either hide some notes around the house for my boyfriend, or I bring a whole stack of greeting cards and stamps and I send him cards throughout the whole time I'm away. It was something my mom always did for me every single week since I left school going to college. She sent me a card in the mail. So for me, it's really important to kind of keep that tradition going. And I think it's also really special. It's a good way to kind of old fashionedly stay in touch. So I always do that and I always try to buy some little gift or something before I leave just to make it a little bit more special. And these I actually found on one of those Instagram ads. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it for eventually when I go away. And what they are, are two little bracelets. I haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet. Um, one is black with a little white bead and the other is white with a little black bead. I don't know if you can really see them. And there is a little um, card that comes with it along with the shop. It is, they're called the Distance Bracelets and the shop is alphaaccessories.co. I don't know if they'll show up. But basically what it's saying is by wearing these bracelets, you have a little piece of the other person with you. I also have done other things. Um, I did uh, my intent bracelet, which was really, really fun. Those ones you tie on. I think I was on a job for nine months and it was something that was a little round. Um, I'm trying to think if I have it with me right now. Anyways, it was a little round, uh, almost like a washer and they imprint words on it. And the word that my boyfriend and I tend to always say is that we stay connected even when we're apart. So we put that on and it's something that you tie on and eventually it does fall off. But that was really fun. Every time I looked at my wrist, I would think of him. So I'll go ahead and link the website to the My Intent bracelet below as well and all the products that you see in this video today. Next, I have a few bathroom favorites. One is a towel that I mentioned in my last favorites video, which I will link that favorites video right up here for you. But then I also have this little um, headband that is great when I'm working super, super late and I don't have time or don't really want to wash my hair or take a full shower. I want to make sure that I thoroughly wash my face though. So this is great because it makes my hair not get all wet when I'm washing my face. This I think was actually also from Ulta and um, you can get any brand, but this is something that I take with me when I travel. And as far as travel bags, especially in the bathroom, I pretty much have three that kind of go with me. The first one is most of these are generic. They're from, I think, um, Target, but this one is more of a waterproof kind of, uh, canvasy type of bag. And this one, I have all of my shower essentials in it. So this I like because 
once I get to the hotel, I just pull this bag out if I need to take a shower right away before heading into work. Sometimes we work travel, um, or sometimes we travel work. So if that's the case, I get into my hotel, I quick take a shower, and then I head into the job. So I like to have at least my shower stuff super easy to get. And also if it leaks, it's pretty well taken care of in here. The next bag that I have is my makeup bag. And this one has gotten some beating lately. Um, I don't take that much makeup when I'm working for work. So in here, I end up piling in my makeup. There also is a section on the top for brushes, which I really need to clean. And then there's usually still room in here where I actually will end up putting in some of my bigger jewelry cases and boxes just so that I can utilize all the space in each of the bags when I pack them into my larger suitcases. Speaking of jewelry, this is also something else that I almost always take with me when I travel for work. Most of the time I wear the same jewelry at the job, but if we're lucky, we have two day weekends doesn't always happen, but on those days, I usually like to explore and I like to kind of change it up and do something different. So I do like to take some of my jewelry that I would wear on a normal basis to the hotel with me. And to keep it all organized, these are actually things that I usually will buy for work, but I um, also will obviously buy them for myself. And these come usually from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And all it is is a little zipper pouch and um on the bottom here i have my apple watch bands i also have my shinola watch bands and it's not totally filled up because i still i think we're gonna go out to dinner tonight and also go out um to see family tomorrow so i haven't completely filled this up yet but this is such a great way when i get to the hotel i can just put it right in my hang in my closet um and everything is just really organized which i like Speaking of closets and hangers, I do pack almost all my clothes other than t-shirts and jeans on hangers. I use the black velvet lined hangers and what I normally do is I'll pack about five in one corner of my suitcase and keep the stuff laid out and then do five in another corner and so on. When I'm packing, I'll try to take a few photos of this and insert them somewhere around here so you guys can see how I actually pack my suitcases with all my clothes, but the velvet hangers really, really help because once I get to the hotel as I'm setting it up I do need a lot of clothes and most of the time we are doing day and night shoots so night shoots regardless of where you are end up being a little bit colder so I always have to bring layers when I pack everything hanging it makes it easier to pack but it also makes it super easy to pull out of my suitcase and put right into the closet like I said I don't have a day or two to kind of organize as soon as I get to the hotel I usually have to go right into work so this is a great way and also it kind of keeps my stuff from getting wrinkled I do as I've mentioned before in previous videos I do always bring a travel steamer with me as well it keeps everything um, before I start wearing it I'll steam it out the night before or whatever but the hanger situation definitely helps when I'm gone for long trips and the final little case that I want to mention this one is actually from Mary Kay um I it's super old I don't even know if they still have it but this is one of those rolling like travel um, cases and I love this because it has a hanger on it. So what I do is I'll take this in and I'll usually hang it from one of the bars. This is not filled up. These are just pieces that I kind of have kept in. But normally I have at least one or two for my normal face products, um, a face wash and that kind of stuff. I do always bring my Clarisonic. I usually have one with deodorant. This has um, downy wrinkle releaser as well as Febreze and some aerosol water. And then the bottom is usually my toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, dental floss, all that kind of stuff. But I love this because it's super easy to hang either on the back of the door or somewhere or somewhere in the bathroom. So that makes it really easy for me to travel as well. I have mentioned this in a previous favorites video. I think I did a favorites video after a job that I had done. And this is a phone case. This is called the Bandolier. I have a love hate relationship with this. The quality, honestly, for the price you pay, I don't think is that great, but it's super functional. Whenever I'm working, I always, always take this with me. It comes with a long crossbody strap. This one has little like black rivets on it um, or little like square beads. And then the bottom are just these clips and they clip into a cell phone case. 
And this is so great when I'm on set because I always have to have my phone close by, but I don't like to keep it in my pockets because then if I'm sitting and standing and well, I don't really sit that much, but <laughs> when I'm on my job, I'm moving around so much that when it is in my pockets, it tends to fall out a lot easier. So this is such a important thing that I have when I'm on set. And it also comes, or you can purchase a separate little pouch. And so usually when I'm working, I will keep my phone on me at all times and then say I have to run out to purchase something if I'm doing some kind of shopping or if I have to even on the weekends just go somewhere I take the little pouch and inside of it I'll put my driver's license some cash my debit card or my credit card and so that's a good little add-on to the bandolier um, like I said I can't really say that it's the greatest product for quality but it's the best thing that I've found so far and it's super super convenient so for this job, I did not have as much time to shop and prepare for this job as I have in the past. So I have done some really large Amazon orders and a couple of the boxes recently came. Um, this really, really big one came for me today. And I just, while I'm doing this favorites video, I wanted to show you a few other things that I have purchased um, for my trip. One is a book that um, I was recommended it's called Meditation for People Who Worry. And it's just a little tiny book. I have not read it at all. Um, it was recommended to me. So I'm definitely going to take that with me. They are really small little, it's almost like a devotional, but they're little paragraphs. And I think that when I'm traveling, it's really important um, not to lose sight of real life when I'm on a job. I end up working sometimes 18, sometimes even 20 hours a day. So my days get really, really long. By the time I get home back to the hotel, all I do is pretty much go to bed. And I feel like at the end of a job, especially when it's a few months long, I kind of feel like I lost just who I am as a person. A lot of times on the weekends, if we even get a weekend, we're shooting so crazily and such little sleep that pretty much our weekends end up just recovering and sleeping and catching up for the next week of work. So this I think is going to be something great. Anything that's little that I can do, whether it's at night or in the morning that takes about two to three minutes, I feel like it's a good way to kind of keep my head in the non-work mode. And also when I'm working so crazily, once I get back to real life and I'm not working, there is a weird transition period. And I'm such a worrier, so I also am not a meditator. So I feel like this might be a good thing for me to try. And like I said, they're literally a paragraph and I just think that it's gonna be super helpful. I'll touch back with you guys and let you know at the end of this job if I'm enjoying that book. In this box, I also bought a new camera for my dog. Um, this particular job, I most likely am going to be leaving my dog here with my boyfriend. Sometimes I'm fortunate enough to where she can come with me if the hotel that we're staying in is dog friendly. If we're in the same location for a very long amount of time, we're not bouncing from hotel to hotel. And if I'm doing a lot more work in the trailer versus on set, I will take her with me. On this particular job, it's going to be awfully crazy. So I am probably going to leave her with my boyfriend. But while I'm away, I do like to check in with her. I bought a really cheap camera and it has been fine. But this one, you can talk back to the pet and you also can move it around. So a lot of times I'll have it positioned towards her bed, but if she's not in her bed, I can't get, I don't really get to see her. So I'm really excited about this. We just went on a really short vacation with my family and my sister and her husband had two of these to watch their cats. And we had great fun watching what her cats were doing. So I wanted to order one for myself. This is from Amazon. I will link this also below. And the next thing that I got is actually a new camera for my set bag. This was something I was really torn about. I was debating between getting a kind of cheaper one to use on set. We have to take pictures on set for continuity. The memory chips belong to the studio, whether I'm working for Warner Brothers or Marvel or Sony or whoever I'm working for. At the end of the job, they keep the memory chips. So I have basically no evidence of um, any kind of photos that can be leaked to the media, but we do have to take continuity pictures. And 
And on this particular movie, it's going to be a lot of action. And the photo, the camera that I've been using isn't that great when it comes to action. So I was debating between getting the PowerShot G9X, which is what I ended up getting, the G7, and also, I think there were a couple other ones in the running. I kind of wanted to get a camera that I also could use for vlogging um, when I'm not working. But ultimately, what I realized is I really want to upgrade. I have right now a Canon um, Rebel T3i that I take my gorgeous pictures on when I go on vacations. And I realize that it doesn't take good video at all. So when we go on vacation, I always end up bringing my good big camera. My boyfriend brings his little Sony because it takes great video. And then we also have our phones. Um, so ultimately I ended up going with the cheaper Canon camera for work purposes. Eventually I think I will upgrade my Canon, um, my actual photograph camera, but let's open this. So this one I think is super cute. This is the, um, what it looks like. And it is going to be, I think, really easy. It is um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, I forget which, which will make it really easy. We do print out our pictures on the Canon selfie printer, which I will link a link below to that printer. It's super easy and I've been using it for years. You can send the picture directly to the printer. So I love that because I don't have to constantly take out the memory chip and print stuff. So this I think is gonna be a good little addition to my set bag. And then I also had to order this just because I think it's super cute. This is a case for the camera and it looks like it just screws in in the bottom. And once it screws in, it goes in like this. But I just think that this is gonna be super great because with the bandolier where my cell phone is, I think I could attach the camera too. So I can have my cell phone and my camera right on me at all times. And the last thing that I did order from Amazon that was in this box, I ordered these packs and these are travel cubes. I'm a huge, huge fan of travel cubes. Super noisy. These are great because they come with an extra laundry bag, which I think is super great when I'm gone for a while. And these are what the travel cubes look like. I haven't used this brand before, but they had a ton of really great reviews online. So I'm gonna give them a go. But essentially what it comes with is an extra large, a large travel cube, Um, a medium and make sure there's not another one in here a small travel cube and these I think are super essential I will also insert some pictures of what I can get into each of these but I use them for socks bras underwear I also use them for pajamas t-shirts and mostly any kind of pants so these work great when I'm traveling um like I said, I bring my steamer, so I don't really care about things being wrinkled, but these just make it so much easier and you can fit so much. My biggest, biggest issue when it comes to traveling is my bags are almost always overweight. So I always have to weigh them before because with these travel cubes and with packing things hanging, I can get so much more in a suitcase and I always end up getting more in the suitcase than what is allotted for weight. So I do end up trying to balance them out and I also will travel with my heavier items in my carry-on. I hope that this video was helpful for some of you guys. And if you have any questions, definitely make sure to leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys are all having a great month and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks. Oh good, there we go. If you guys don't like see what is by my feet, it's a mess, a huge mess. I don't know, I guess I should start. Let me start <laughs> all over again. <laughs> I just said thank you. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Uh. Or if I, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Top throwing them in if I'm doing, it doesn't matter. I'm a travel, uh, what's it called? Makeup bag? Uh, get to the job. Blah, blah, blah.